Hi everyone at PS221Q. Let's get into this week's lesson. And this week we're on to stage number nine, the C and the comma. Okay, so let's take a look at the keyboard here. The C is down here below the D, so the middle finger on the left side goes from the D to the C, and on this side, the middle finger goes from the K to the I. So middle finger on the left side does the C, middle finger on the right side does the comma. Pointy fingers on, are on the F, and on the right side, pointy fingers on the J, and the pinky goes on the A on this side, and the right pinky goes on the semicolon, and the thumbs are on the space bar. So the first thing I'd like the children to do is to do stage nine, scene, comma. Please make sure to use the correct fingers, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're working on your typing. Next thing we're going to work on, we're going to work on code.org this week. And we're going to do sticker arts with loops. So notice we're almost done with code.org. Children have done a great job. Let's take a look at sticker arts with, with loops. So let's create some art using our loops. So this is a free play. Let's build something bigger one step at a time. Get the artist to the center of the, center of the play area using the jump to the middle block, then use a sticker to make something appear. So we're going to jump. So let's see if what they have. They have this one too. They have two jumps. They have jump to middle center. And then you're going to use a sticker. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to... You pick whichever one you like. I guess I'll use the same one that they suggest, but you could use the one that you like. Draw your sticker and you click finish. Okay, now let's let's see what we could add onto this. Change the direction of your sticker by adding a turn command to your code. Okay, so let's how let's see how it looks now. Now it looks like this, and then we could say we wanted to turn to the left. So let's try it like this. You could even add this to the top if you want. You could turn to the left first and then do it. Okay, if you want to. So you could you could experiment with how you want to do that. Now we're going to use a loop, a repeat loop, to make multiple copies. Try changing the numbers in the turn and repeat blocks to make different patterns. Okay, so let's let's just try this first. Let's just see if we do this, how it works. Okay, then what we could do is we could change this to, let's try 20 degrees. Let's try, let's make this, you know, 20 times maybe, and make this uh, 60 degrees. So you could experiment. Okay, so that's that one. These ones don't have a set, um, that not everyone's going to have the same one because you could put your own ideas into it. Now add a second sticker right on top of the first one to make an image like the one below. Press finish and you're happy with the one you've made. So let's see what, maybe I'll put this one in. Okay, so you have two stickers here on top of each other and it creates a little design. Let's see what they had. Let's see what else I could do. Maybe I could do a yellow. Let's see if I draw yellow. Okay, let's see if I try, uh, let's try this to be a cat, I'll try this to be a cat, and I'll try this one to be, uh, yeah, you, you could try experiment with yours as well. Well, that's a nice one, okay? Finish, excellent. Edit your code so that you jump forward between drawing the two stickers. Okay, so where's jump forward? Jump forward. Make sure you have jump to the middle center position inside your loop so you stay in the center. Okay, so let's see this. Jump to middle center. They want us to jump forward between and we have jump to the center. So let's take a look at this. Wow, look at that. It's very beautiful because what we have is we're turning and then we, we jump to the middle. We draw our sticker, we jump forward, and then we draw this one. And then what it does, we turn to the left, and that gets us back to the center. We go back to the center with the jump to center. And then we, we are uh, going to draw the cat again.
What happens when you move forward, then move backwards somewhere inside the loop? So let's try this. Let's move forward, and then let's move backwards. Let's move backwards. Let's try this, and let's see what they say. Try using the set pattern block before you start your loop to make a work of art. So let's see set pattern. We'll put that in here. We'll try maybe a rainbow. Okay, so see what we do? We set a pattern here, and then when we move forward and backward, that's how we make that star. Okay, so that star, first we set our pattern to here, and then the move forward and the move backward makes the little design like this. And you could change this too if you wanted this to be maybe a squiggly line or whatever you like to try. Okay, <laughs> very good. Add a third sticker anywhere in the loop that you want. What does it look like now? Change the pattern on your brush for more variety. So I can make this. Maybe I want to make this uh, a diamond. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a third sticker. I'm going to put it in here. What could I add? Maybe I'll add a ghost. So let's say how that goes. Okay, so when you run our patterns, we have our nice little designs flowing on top of each other. Try changing the repeat loop to run a different number of times. How far do you have to turn to go around in a full circle? So we're going to change this. Maybe we'll make this 10 times instead. Try changing how many times you spin. Try a 60 degree turn for six times around. So let's try 60 here. I mean, six, I'm sorry, six times. And what do they want? They want a 60 degree tip. Uh, actually, let's try this. They want uh, 18. Let's try 18 and they put out a 20 degree turn. Let's turn to the by 20 degrees. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that makes a nice design in there. Okay, so the reason why they're doing uh, 60 times 6 is it's 360 and they want to see if you could make a circle. So that's why they're doing it that many times. Very good. You click finish. And that's your design that you made. Now make something on your own. What happens when you make two separate circles of different stickers? Okay, so what you could do is you can um, you know, jump to the center again. You know, you could set your pattern. And you could say you want to uh, jump to the center. And you could draw a sticker. And then what you could do is you could say you want to um, turn. And yeah, let's try this six times. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that's one. Now here's what you could do. If you want to do a separate one, if you want to do a separate one, what you could do is you could say, um, Let's jump to the let's jump to the top left and then let's do it again. Let's do repeat six times. And let's say um, actually we'll put it like this. We'll put it in the loop. That would be interesting. We'll put it over here and we'll say draw a sticker. And this time we'll draw maybe a rocket. I'm going to turn to left 60 times. So we should have two drawings here, okay? Because we're going to run this loop, and then we'll run this one. And unfortunately, we can't see it's a little bit outside of the screen, but you have your uh, drawing up here. So that was sticker art with loops. Everybody will come up with their own designs. And when you click Finish, you'll be able to see it, and you could print this out if you want to keep a copy of it. And so we can create a lot of great artwork with our code.